So uh, today's data tasting is <clears throat> from a project um, called uh, Eco Districts. Uh, this is something that was started uh, about four years, uh, I guess three years ago, um, in Portland, Oregon, uh, and has ballooned out to 18 different cities across the world. Um, that uh, that is a framework for sustainable community development. Um, helping local communities figure out how they can uh, improve themselves to make themselves more sustainable across a whole bunch of different metrics. The city of San Francisco wants to adopt the eco-district framework, rebranding it a little bit, calling it sustainable systems because the, the folks that started eco-districts in Portland decided to start a consulting group uh, to help cities deploy this and uh, are now charging people, I think, to uh, say that they're doing good districts. So uh, San Francisco is instead doing a sustainable systems project. Um, and what they've done is they've done an enormous amount of work uh, across, looking across uh, a whole bunch of data sets that, the, that a bunch of different departments collect. right? And they've organized these in eight different metrics. Um, so they've, they've gone in and said, we care deeply about the following. Uh, Yes, this. We care deeply about the following things. Equitable development. We want uh, local communities to, to uh, develop in a way that allows all boats to rise. Um, we care deeply about community identity, people feeling like there's a sense of community. Uh, habitat and ecosystem function, water, wastewater, stormwater, energy, <coughs> management, health and well-being, access and mobility. So those were the kind of nine performance areas that the city really cares about, wants to improve on. And they've defined particular objectives in each of those areas. Uh, ensure that neighborhood investment provide direct community benefits, provide quality local job opportunities, etc. Right? And what they want to do is connect data that they're already collecting, that they have on their open data portal, or that are in some silos throughout the city, and see if they can tie it, uh, generate metrics based on that data uh, to each of the objectives that they're wanting to, to me. Got it? Everyone fine? Great. So what they've done, what they've given us is so far uh, 53 different data sets. <coughs> Things like uh, at each community level, time spent walking and biking, uh, transit commute time, bicycle network, right? All of these are transportation related. Distance uh, traveled and private auto. Uh, community center access, uh, how far you eat, right, right? You guys get this. So you can notice in each of these kind of performance areas, you have different data sets. These are all shape thoughts. We're not going to spend too much time on this, uh, at least in the data that's um, uh, So we're going to look at a, f uh, at a few um, today. One of the things they've done systematically, uh, and we've only, I just pulled this up for one year, is every year, asked enough people in the city of San Francisco to have a representative sample at the zip code level, what is the likelihood that you're going to leave this city? Right? Uh, and they've got, for each different neighborhood, different zip codes, uh, the likelihood of people leaving. Uh, very likely, somewhat likely, not likely, not likely at all, which these two seem. Um, <laughs> In addition to that, they have things like violent crimes for those same neighborhoods, right? Uh, property crimes. Uh, they've got people's perceived safety for those same neighborhoods. How very, very safe or safe? Neither safe, unsafe, very unsafe. Right? And then both day and night. Which, interestingly enough, uh, it's amazing how everyone feels less safe at night than they do <laughs> during the day, no matter where you are, um, even suburban. Um, uh, and then they have other, those, those are all things you maybe consider disamenities. Uh, amenities. They also have things like amenities, like for each neighborhood, um, natural area acres, public artworks, number of murals, stuff like that, right? <laughs> and one of the things they would love to be able to know is how do all of these things around, uh, you know, attributes of a neighborhood affect uh, your likelihood or people's likelihood of leaving the city? And if so, what are things, what are ways that the city can intervene to help people, you know, want to want to stay longer, want to love their neighborhood more? So that's that's the data, that's the problem. 
uh, how would you guys go about uh, about you know working with this data, constructing uh, constructing a way that would help solve that solve that or answer that question for for the city of San Francisco and design a system that would allow them to test interventions iteratively uh, that that may change people's perceptions of, of the neighborhood. 